Adidas has joined forces with International Tennis USA to develop a revolutionary concept in player development. A concept that embraces the simple philosophy that the impossible is nothing. Knowing that success and maturation within the game is a journey and not a destination, the team is dedicated to developing tomorrow's champions through on-court technical and tactical training, off-court classroom instruction in the areas of media training, mental awareness and nutrition, as well as fitness and physical therapy. Adidas and International Tennis USA, breaking the bonds of what is and changing the game to what it will be. It was quite a big transition going from junior to senior, so that's one of the most difficult things in tennis from being a junior, suddenly you're winning all the matches and suddenly you're playing against older players and you start losing. So that transition can take some time sometimes. You must understand that. You need to get physically stronger and, and, and you need to use your strength when you play tennis. And my strength was to serve and, and, and I practiced quite a lot of, on volleys when I was young. And I think that's important that you find your own game. What, what, what is your strength? What do you do best? That's, that's really the key because you need to find that way of playing tennis because that's how you're going to be successful. Everybody that plays any sport loves the way of winning and, and that's what drives you forward and, and, and that's what drove me forward because I, I like training. You've got to like to train first or you've got to like to win. In order to win matches, obviously you, you, you need to work hard and if you can do that a little bit extra, if you can take that little extra time to do these little extra things, it will benefit you. Winning is something you want to get used to. If you choose tennis as your occupation, you may as well try to make the most of it and, and be professional. You're much better off training hard for an hour and a half that, than being on the court for two hours and not really putting, putting it into to, to, to the training session. And I think Jim McConnors was a typical example of that because I got the opportunity to play against him you know, in practice when I was 17, 18. And when he stepped on the court, you know, it, this, this was a fight. Even if it was practice, he's going to fight from the first minute till the last minute. And um, he was a great example to me. Practicing means helping each other because I think the important thing with practice is to get into a good rhythm. I think we have all feel much better if we get into a good rhythm right from the beginning where you would help each other so you get warm and you get the right timing. And the goal is just not to miss also, but you can push yourself. I mean, especially when you go the cross court, you can make the other one run because she knows the next one is going cross court again or down the line. So this is like how to learn to play together. You train the anticipation what's going to happen in the match, at least a little bit. No, not just hitting cross court all the time, but you already run a little bit on the court, so it's endurance on the court. I would say 50% of your time, at least that's my goal, even maybe sometimes more, is to play matches in practice too. And you really play like a match in practice too, because then you will practice you know, playing match situations. The most important is you like on the court, you try to simulate already the match a little bit at least with that you're moving around and not just be standing and hitting ball everybody can do that <laughs> you know everybody can hit the ball today uh, even i can hit the ball but tennis is all about movements it's all about reading the game and and being really quick on the court that's that's where you're gonna really make make it happen is by being quick on the court being physically as strong as you can be uh, that's really how you're going to win matches. It's not, it's not just by hitting good forehands and backhands. It's, it's all about movements. And, and tennis is, like you say, kind of is a running sport. It's not, it's not a hitting sport. It's, it's really a movement and running sport. Okay, some of you are going to be able to strike the ball a lot better than others, but you still got to be able to move out to that forehand corner and, and getting back to the backhand corner and running up to the net. That's, that's the whole key about this game. So it's all about fitness even more today than, than, than when I was playing 20 years ago. You could get away a little bit with having great hands and, and not being in physically top conditions, but today you, it's, it's, it's very much about fitness. I would translate sometimes winning one match can be 20 hours of practice. The closer I got to the tournament, sometimes I only practice like the whole day. But the closer I went to the matches, I played more sets.
Tennis is really a sport where you challenge you know, every week throughout the year. Just try to think like every shot you hit, it has a purpose. It's like, you know, whether you want to hit just cross courts or like short ones or drop shots, it doesn't matter what you hit, but you, at least every time it, the ball has to have an idea. It's so much more difficult today, I would say, so um, I'm glad I'm not playing today. I don't know how I would cope that because with emotions it's more difficult, at least for me. But I'm being myself and that's me and, and I'm not playing a game. I'm not trying to be somebody else. That will help you a lot too. Well, at least you got a future ahead of you. I got the future behind me, so that's kind of nice too. <laughs>